welcome to another episode of Fit Friday. This time from one of the most beautiful places in the whole world. I think at least this is in Lauterbrunnen. Oh my God, it's so gorgeous here. Now, why I'm filming here today is because yesterday I actually went on a really long run. Um, it was like a six and a half K run. So today I thought I would take advantage of this absolutely gorgeous weather or as much as is left of this weather because the rest of the week is gonna be kind of ugly. I'm actually also trying out this new lumbar pack. Um, because I heard it's good. I have all my stuff with me. This is where I'm going to start the trail and I'm gonna walk all the way to the front of the valley and then maybe back, we'll see. If I'm too lazy or if I'm too tired or whatever, there's a little bus that just like goes back and forth. So yeah, I have a vlog from my day yesterday or whenever, two days ago when I went to the hairdresser. If you wanna go see that vlog, um, go and check it out. It's on my vlog channel. And speaking of vlog channel, when I was looking back at my video like stream and seeing all the videos I posted in the last while, my channel has kind of gotten a little bit, um, how can I say this, like it's kind of lost its direction, I feel. I kind of posted, you know, videos on lots of different topics and you know, I said, oh, I only want to have one channel. But the thing is that a lot of people are only, oh my God, I'm getting into a half talking and walking, but I just realized like my channel, I want it to be more like the, the main channel. I want it to really be a beauty channel. I'm going to keep Fit Friday on my main channel just because a lot of people do like this series and it's kind of gotten a following on here, but I'm going to not upload vlogs and any kind of off topic related content anymore. I'm not gonna put that I think on my main channel anymore unless it somehow fits in with beauty. Anyway, I'm gonna make a whole like announcement video about this on my channel, but um, if you haven't, like if you like my sort of non-beauty related content, you know, other things that I talk about, then please be sure to subscribe to my vlog channel because that's where I'm going to put those videos from now on. You know, in an ideal world where that works, everything, putting everything on one channel, then I would do that. But um, I feel like it has kind of gotten to be kind of a mishmash on my channel. Okay, so it says here, lauter put in an hour, 10 minutes. Beautiful, so, so beautiful. Um, I've walked this trail before with my husband. I think we just came here one time on a weekend and walked the valley from all the way from the back to the front because I think the road like ends back there at some point. But back here, there's almost no tourists. <laughs> Further the front you go, there's more like tourists. So everywhere in these valleys, uh, there's like these waterfalls that come down. Can you see that one? Isn't that so cool? This one is not even that amazing. Like there's ones where there's way more water coming down, especially in spring. And look at all these fields are covered in wildflowers. So beautiful. I feel like hiking is such a good thing to do when you kind of want to be active, but you're not like super crazy about running or going to the gym or something. You know, that's something also good to do on like a rest day if you have maybe even going to the gym or a lot and lifting weights or something and then maybe your muscles are sore. The one I went on last time, which I posted a video of on my channel, the one I went on last time was really steep because it's going up a mountain. So it was coming from Lauterbrunnen and goes up to Wengen. I posted that on my vlog channel if you wanna go and check it out. I'll have it linked in the, in the corner and click on the eye. You see that? So that's the Schildhorn Gondola. So that's where they filmed one of the James Bond movies, I think in the 70s or something. They filmed it up there on the Schildhorn. Just passing by a little um, farm here. And I don't know if you can see, but up there, there's a little insignia which says bio. So actually this means it's, it's a certified organic farm. So they have to be certified. They can't just like write that. They can't just write organic. Um, they have to be like certified and it's very controlled. Yeah, this is cows, so certified organic milk or beef or whatever. like a brisk pace so that I do get my heart rate up, not just like dawdling walk. But it's kind of hard because I keep stopping to take photos. And even though, like I've been here many times, <laughs> um, it's still awesome every 
single time I come here. And it's still awe-inspiring and beautiful. And look, there's like a creek right beside me. Whee! Just the sounds. Oh, I should put on my, you know what? I'm gonna put on my RunKeeper app. I'm gonna measure this anyway. I mean, it's not a run, but. because it's a little bit windy but it's like the perfect temperature <sighs> it's times like this honestly lately I've been like so thinking about getting a dog because it would just be so awesome to like be able to walk with a dog here have a walking buddy with you <laughs> running buddy not not for safety or anything I feel perfectly safe but it would just be fun I don't know I just think it would be cool if I had like a dog with me now you have like a walking companion <laughs> Yeah, I mean, there's lots of things that are good about dogs, but then the only thing that kind of, for me, majorly speaks about dogs is that it does like tie you down. You can't just like go on quick holidays somewhere. You always have to think about who's gonna look after the dog or are you gonna bring it to a dog sitting hotel or do you have someone who can look after it? Or what if I, you know, like what if I have to go to Zurich for a day? You know, I can't just leave my dog alone the whole day. My husband is at work and if I'm just not there, like, you know, so those are always kind of the struggles that I've had with dogs. Stunning. Look, there's lots of cows here. Okay, these ones look more scared than interested. Oh, look at them. Her buds. Okay, they're not interested. Grass is more interesting than Julia. How rude. The sun seems to have gone behind, well, because this is like a valley, so the sun has gone behind that mountain, but oh my god, it's so beautiful. So beautiful getting a pretty good workout. I mean, I'm just walking, but broken a little bit of sweat. <laughs> I am a little bit sweaty. I think I might need to sit on a bench somewhere and have my snack. I brought a banana. I found a bench. I took out my banana. This lumbar pack is actually pretty convenient. There's like two slots. So you have like a smaller thing here where you can put, you know, I think I have like my wallet and keys and I don't know, not much else in there. And then the main compartment and most of the bulky stuff back here, this is actually my jacket in here. So I have my jacket in there, and then I have like tissues. Actually, I should put this on. This is like a sweatband. And then both of these sides are bottles that you can fill up, obviously. These come with the pack, so they fit snugly in there. And then also on the side here, on this side and on the other side, it has like a little zip pocket. So I have, um, my iPhone fits in here. Probably the Plus does not. So I have the iPhone 6S, and that fits in there. And then on the other side, I have like a, chopstick so this is really cool and then it goes around your waist there are a couple things I don't like I feel like the strap is really thin this should be a lot broader and this needs to go further because this doesn't go fully around my waist so <sighs> I'm actually sweating now Ugh. oh my god the view here is just so cool so that's my view I've got this in front of me I came from down there I'm gonna walk this way there's some people coming down there a little snack and some water. I've had some water while I'm walking. You can pull it out as you go, so it's really convenient. And this means that you don't get that sweaty back syndrome from wearing a backpack. <laughs> <laughs> Hi! Hi, look, he's coming! Come on! Oh, look, they're all coming. <laughs> Come on! Come? Oh, they're too shy. Come here! You're so cute! Come? Yahoo! Huh? Huh? 
So I'm gonna hike back because I've already walked like over an hour this way. So I'm gonna hike an hour back because I just spoke to my husband on the phone and he's like, oh, because I sent him a picture on WhatsApp. So he called me and he's like, well, why don't we meet up and go out for dinner somewhere? I was like, oh yeah, good idea. I'm gonna look like crap and sweaty, but oh well. It's pretty cash here in Switzerland, like, you know, out in the countryside. Doesn't really, doesn't really matter. Um, if you're in a town, people are super chic and always wearing very fashionable clothing, but it's very normal in this region to see like hikers come back for the day and, you know, go eat somewhere and wearing still their hiking boots and stuff. So this was a good hike. I mean, I definitely worked up a sweat. My brow's getting a little bit sweaty before. Like I'm going at a pretty fast pace. Like I'm trying to walk nice and quickly. Whew, guys, I'm on the way back and I really picked up the pace. I was like, okay, let's, let's go. <sighs> kind of sweaty. I had to take a quick break here on the bench because it's still quite a bit to the end where my car's parked, but um, so you can, you can definitely work up a sweat hiking. Like look at my face, it's bright red and sweaty. I have uh, makeup wipes in the car. I'll have to do a little <laughs> makeup wipe bath, I guess. Kind of gross, but I wasn't anticipating on going to a restaurant after, but I think it's, just, it's such nice weather. I want to take advantage. <sighs> I just got back to the car. I'm pretty out of breath now because I went pretty fast and it was kind of a little bit uphill. I definitely feel like that was a workout. Um, I'm pretty sweaty actually. I think we're going to an Italian restaurant and I think I have really deserved something good to eat because I know I burned a ton of calories now and yesterday I burned a ton of calories and I've been eating really healthy this weekend. We didn't even really do a cheat meal or anything. So I think I'm gonna treat myself to a freaking pizza tonight. I'm just looking at my stats. So it says 7.25, but I forgot to turn it on like the first half of the hike. So I left at three and it's 5.30. So I had two and a half hours. So I missed like a whole hour of hike and this is 7.25 k i must have hiked like almost 10 k or something so i feel really good about that it says i burned 1173 calories i mean that's just using sort of general stats but if that's true like holy smokes honestly like i am famished now if, if this hike was longer i would have to take a bigger snack than just a banana all right so i'm in spiez now kind of a stop off and um, this is the Spiez Castle. So I have to show you guys this restaurant. It's really cool. It's right here, like right at the lake. Like I'm sitting literally at the lake. Here's our table. So yeah, I'm gonna just see what they have. I think I'm gonna get um, a pizza though, that's for sure. Okay, so this is the appetizer. It's a lamb's lettuce salad. Bjorn's gonna eat the bacon. I'm gonna sure. eat the eggs. Mm, that looks good. All right, so here's the pizza. I'm a little bit disappointed because it's not quite what I imagined, but it looks, it looks tasty otherwise. All right, so it's the end of the evening. Uh, I just took a shower, which felt amazing. I washed my grimy hair and I have a scary looking face mask on. This is actually one of the face masks that I brought back from Japan. This is the Pure Smile, I think Milk Essence or something. So if you like this, please remember, give it a thumbs up. And you can also check back on my other Fit Friday uh, videos. Subscribe to my channel and also hit the bell icon if you haven't already so that you'll be notified. And this is too creepy for words, so I'll just sign off guys and I will see you very soon. <laughs> Bye everyone.